In this video, we're going to manage an incident using the map view. Now we're currently looking at the satellite view, but if we tap on the satellite icon in the lower right corner, we can switch between different views. So we can use satellite, we can use streets, either Apple or Google streets, topography or hybrid. So we're going to stick with the satellite view, and the first thing we're going to do is identify where our hazard is. To do that, we're going to long tap on the map view to the location of the hazard. When we do this, a menu wheel will appear. Now the menu wheel has a bunch of different icons, but we're going to focus on the exclamation point on the bottom. When I tap on the exclamation point, I get a dialog box. Now this will give a lat launch coordinate to where our hazard is. So I'm going to type in here gas leak, and then I'm going to tap place hazard. Now I'm going to place my resources. The easiest way to do that is just drag and drop. So I'm going to drag my law enforcement resources to the traffic control points. And then I'm going to place my fire apparatus. Now when I place my fire apparatus, I'm going to give them an assignment. And in order to do that, I'm going to long tap on engine 111 and the menu wheel will appear. I have the double arrows in the lower right side. I'll tap on that and it'll give me a list of assignments. I'm going to give it a fire attack assignment. I can also place divisions and groups. So I'm going to drag Hazmat 111 into the neighborhood below the gas leak. And then I'm going to long tap on Hazmat 11 and I see a D for division and G for group on the left hand side. I'm going to tap on G and I'm going to give my group a function, in this case air monitoring. So I'm going to type, tap in AM. I'm going to tap confirm and I have a group up and running. If I tap on AM, if I tap on that group, I can see that Hazmat 111 is assigned to the group. If I go back to my units view, I see that all of my resources have been assigned. 